afternoon ladies and gentlemen i'm meetsy 69 welcome back to the channel now as you know wargaming ha or as some of you may know because droodles has dropped a video uh wargaming has made an announcement and i know droodles has dropped the video but i think as many youtubers uh blitz youtubers should be doing this kind of video like you know standing up for ukraine uh none of us are against ukraine none of us uh are no none of us are doing say are thinking what russia is doing is is right we're all on the right side we're all on the same side uh, and we're all for ukraine you know what russia are doing are are war crimes and and so many civilians are being attacked for no reason of their own and at the start of this russian invasion um, a lot of people wanted to boycott Wargaming because it is a Belarusian company. Um, but, you know, this just goes to show where Wargaming stand with this Russian invasion. And they they didn't even need to do this because they've already shown it. You know, they sacked one of their top guys because he was for the war. Uh, so they, they sacked him. They got rid of him because that's his views are not in the same line as the company's views. And, of course, Wargaming don't just have uh, offices in Belarus and Russia. They have offices all over. Their, their headquarters is in Cyprus. They have offices in Kiev. And Wargaming made this announcement that they are trying to get over 550 members of their staff from Ukraine to safety. They're paying them early. They're giving them wages. They're trying to rehome them. And also, they are giving, uh, they're donating $1 million to the Ukrainian Red Cross. Now, this alone just goes to show that Wargaming, even though, yes, they are a Belarusian company, they they don't accept what's happening. You know, they, they're, they're, they're on Ukraine's side. And what Wargaming have just announced is they are closing their offices in Russia and Belarus. Now, what does this mean? Now, what does this mean? Now, obviously, the screen, it doesn't let me record the screen properly, uh, so you're going to see it all fuzzy. What does this mean for Blitz? What will this mean for Blitz? So, basically, the Russian uh, offices and the Belarusian offices are moving over to a different company. So, they're being moved across to a different company that has no affiliation with War Gaming. Um, so the the Leicester studio as you can as you can see there uh, so the company will not profit from the process either today or going forward so of course they are going to have a substantial loss in finance uh, same as a lot of companies to be honest a lot of companies that are backing out of Russia of course, they're losing a lot of money. You got Shell, um, BP, obviously all the oil companies. Uh, you've got the things like McDonald's, Apple, everything like that. Of course, they are going to lose money, uh, and that's the same as Wargaming. But what does that mean for the end user? What will that mean for us, the players? Now, those that are on EU, NA, Asia, it shouldn't have really an impact it shouldn't have an impact on us at all what does this mean for the ru server well i'm trying i'm guessing the ru server will be like the chinese server so china are obviously got a server it's run by a different company separate to uh, wargaming separate to, uh, so you can't access this Chinese uh, server like you can all the other servers on this game. So as you know, you can set an account up for EU, NA, Asia, Russia, all from the same download. Uh, but of course, with this uh, this new uh, news coming in in to, uh, today, Russians or the, from the Russian server will not be able to access this game the usual way. They should still be able to download the game. Of course, they will be able to download the game and play it just like the Chinese server. But for us, that means we won't be able to have an account. Like, if you've got an account on the RU server, like I know Droodles has got a reroll on the RU server, a free-to-play, he won't be able to access that. Um, so, going forward. Now... Am I surprised? Of course not, because of I know where Wargaming stand with this war. I know that they are trying to move everybody. 
and with them closing the uh, the Minsk and the, the Russian offices, it, this doesn't surprise me at all because I know that they are trying to move away anyway. I know that they've, they've opened up uh, an office in Lithuania uh, and I know that a few wargaming uh, staff from Minsk has actually fleed. Uh, I'm not going to say no names, etc. Um, but what does this mean for the, the current staff in Belarus at the moment, like Alexandra, etc.? I honestly don't know. Hopefully, obviously, our prayers go with them. Our thoughts go with them. Uh, she's a pivotal part of this game, in my opinion. She is so important to this game. Um, so hopefully, maybe she gets relocated. I honestly don't know that far ahead. War we have spoken to Wargaming about this, and they will let us know. They have said they've still got jobs. They've still got... Uh, they're still there. They're still there, uh, and no panic. So that's that's good news. That is good news. Um, but going forward, I don't honestly know what is going to happen to the wargaming staff in Belarus and Russia. More Belarus, because that's where our contacts are. That's where we know people. Um, so yeah, whether they get re uh, put somewhere else, relocated, I, I honestly don't know. But hopefully, hopefully, now we're all just guessing. We are all just guessing right now. Um, but hopefully, this doesn't mean anything for the EU, NA, or the Asian server. This hope this should just affect not hopefully but this just this should just affect the ru server now of course our hearts go out to the ru servers especially the youtubers they put in a lot of work you know they're very popular and because of all the sanctions they're unable to do videos right now they can release videos of course but they can't monetize their channel because google uh, uh an american company uh, and obviously they're not doing business and stuff like that with uh, Russians, uh, etc. So people in the in Russia, people on from Russia are, and uh, especially YouTubers in general, are able are not able to monetize their videos. So they are looking at uh, different places to start streaming and different like Russian places, uh, Russian sites to start streaming. Uh, as, as as far as I know, I don't know where they've got to with that because I don't really keep up with the Russian server. Um, so yeah, hopefully going forward, this won't uh, affect us lot uh, as much as it does from the people from Russia. So yeah, again, we stand by we stand by Ukraine. I, I repeat the words Drudel said: uh, "Slava Ukraine." Uh, we are with you. We are. We are, our thoughts go with you. And of course, I know a wargaming employee, Darf, he's Ukrainian. I know he's got family uh, in Ukraine. So our hearts go out to all them. Hopefully everyone uh, is uh, stay safe and your families as well. So uh, yeah, on this note, hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little video. Uh, I'm Midzi and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.